One of my earliest memories is of him sexually abusing me. I was about four or five years old, and this is where my dad did it. I remember him telling me, you should never do this. And then he did it to me. It was not an easy endeavor to try and get them to speak. They are two of Warren Jeff's many children, two of four who've escaped from the FLDS. He used the banner of religion to permit underage marriages and to cover up horrific acts, including the violation of his own child wives. In 2011, he was convicted on two counts of sexual assault of a minor and given a life sentence. They knew that we were going to treat them and their stories with dignity, and so they really allowed us into their worlds, and they shared with us things that they literally have not shared with some of their closest family members. They want the world to know, and, and particularly, they want people who are still in the FLDS to know, people who still regard Warren Jeffs as the prophet, that this man was far from perfect. How many kids do you think your father has molested? I don't know, sometimes I think 10, 20. <laughs> I hope it's not more than that. The hardest part about filming this episode was just trying to be respectful and sensitive to the things that Becky and Roy Jeffs had gone through. I mean, these are two people who have just left the most closed, isolated community in the United States. They're almost like children who are experiencing things for the first time in their lives. I had my first glass of wine last week. <laughs> Learned how to swim yesterday. <laughs> wow. And would you just not have been able to swim? We were taught not to. Why? We were taught that the devil has control of the waters. What they'd gone through was so horrifying and so traumatizing. And for them to share this with me and with the world, was incredibly brave, and I appreciate them for having the courage to tell their stories, and their objective is to try and help the people who are still inside the FLDS. How did they decide to actually come public with this? So there's an organization that intercepts a lot of people who come out of the FLDS, and um, when Roy and Becky Jeffs, uh, two of four of his kids that came out, um, decided to tell their stories. They suggested that, that they talk to us for our show because they knew that we wouldn't be exploitative with their stories. Um, and, and it's important to keep in mind that both Becky and Roy, they're not people who are eager to write books about their story. They don't want fame and fortune by any means. In fact, they're still trying to just adjust to life outside of the FLDS. Um, but they desperately want people to know about what their father was like before he became the prophet, because there still are thousands of people who believe that he is the direct hand of God. 